Royal Heartbreak, Last Engagements in New K Hard for Emotional Harry, It's Bittersweet. The final days of Prince Harry's life as a member of the senior royal family are finally taking their toll on the emotional Duke, who is spending his last moments in the UK before he ditches his titles to become financially independent. A friend of Prince Harry's has claimed that Meghan Markle's husband is enduring a bittersweet and hard time during his last rounds as a prince. He and Meghan are set to stand down from royal duties next month and the followings are acting as his farewell before embarking on his new life with the Duchess of Sussex and their child Archie. This year has seen Meghan and Harry opt to move away from the UK to spend time in North America. Their decision has not been without controversy as critics have attacked the couple from all angles for the move. And speaking to Vanity Fair, a friend has spoken about the toll his last engagements have taken on him. They said, it's an emotional time for him in many ways. I think in many ways it's bittersweet. He's always wanted to have a regular life and to get away from the spotlight, and that's what he's doing, but it basically means walking away from his family. Harry's a loving loyal guy so that will be very hard for him. Reports say that Prince Harry has told his friends that no longer using the royal titles he has been given was a small price to pay for him moving on. Harry's run within the family will end officially on March 31st. Before then, he will be joined by Meghan at the last event they will attend at Westminster Abbey for the Commonwealth Day service. Their appearance is set to be the first time the couple will be seen together since their departure was formally announced. At the event, they will be joined by more than 2,000 people, including the likes of Prime Minister Boris Johnson. It will be shown live on BBC One. Harry is also reportedly concerned about his Invictus Games, which could be axed as fears grow surrounding the deadly coronavirus. The Games which is aimed at supporting injured service personnel, was due to take place in the Netherlands in May. However, the plans have been thrown into chaos after the country recorded its first case of the virus. So far, more than 89,000 people worldwide have contracted the infection, leading to at least 3,000 deaths. Prince Harry panic, Duke concerned over Invictus Games axing as EU coronavirus fears grow. Prince Harry is concerned over that the Invictus Games may be axed as widespread panic surrounding the coronavirus could see the biannual event halted for safety reasons. The Duke of Sussex is clear that the safety and welfare of those taking part comes before anything else and is being updated about whether the Games will go ahead. The Games are set to begin in May and take place in The Hague, Holland. However, after the Netherlands found its first case of the deadly infection on Thursday, Insiders say the Games may have to be pushed back. The Games, which were created by the Duke of Sussex, are aimed at supporting injured service personnel. Sources say plans for the Games had descended into chaos. However, one source told The Sun that the Duke is positive about what happens next. The source said, Harry, like everyone else in the team involved in planning the Games, is very mindful about the impact coronavirus could have on the event. But Harry has been clear that the safety and welfare of those taking part comes before anything else. So this will be at the forefront of the minds of those drawing up an action plan to deal with the situation. Harry has an incredibly close bond not just with the games but with those taking part. The source added, his team are updating him on a daily basis as to what the state of play is. It's been suggested that with Harry stepping away from public life he will be less hands-on with Invictus. This simply isn't true and Harry is angry at the idea he isn't as involved. Yesterday, organizers said that thousands of people, including competitors and viewers, were set to visit The Hague to watch the event. These people will come from around 20 different countries, leading to fears the infection could continue to spread. Globally, the coronavirus has been contracted by around 89,000, with more than 3,000 dying as a result. In the UK there are no recorded deaths, but the number of cases reported has steadily risen in recent days to around 40. Harry's wife Meghan Markle is expected to attend the event in May if it gets the green light to go ahead. They are currently in the UK carrying out their final duties as senior royal family figures ahead of their controversial resignation last month.